All right, so we want to find the secant of the inverse sine of negative 1 half. So first thing, inverse sines bound between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So negative 1 half is down here in quadrant 2. Because negative 1, negative, well, that's root 3. Well, this doesn't matter, but I'm just labeling the triangle. It's a 36 to 90 triangle. So this is negative pi over 6. So it's essentially the secant of negative pi over 6. So secant, same thing as just 1 over cosine. So if it helps, I do 1 over cosine pi over 6, which is equal to um, oh, excuse me, negative pi over 6. So that's root 3, 1 over root 3 over 2, which uh, becomes 2 over root 3. And then we can rationalize the denominator. So we end up with 2 root 3 over 3 for the secant of the inverse sine of negative 1 half. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.